Royal commentators and TV critics alike have said that Netflix should definitely be asking for a refund after critics labeled Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix series dull and repetitive. Critics from the BBC, The Guardian, The Times, as well as Francis Le Figaro, all criticized the disappointing program. Royal commentator Neil Sean told his YouTube channel Neil Sean's Daily Headline News that the couple appeared to have said all the best bits during the Oprah Winfrey interview. He also suggested that Harry may have wanted to save some bombshell revelations for his forthcoming memoir, Spare, which will be released in January. Mr. Sean said, were the first three episodes as explosive as Netflix wanted? It's incredible, really. If I was Netflix, I would definitely be asking for a refund. All the best and most interesting bits went on the Oprah Winfrey show, and let's not forget that Harry cannot reveal too much because he has a book to sell. So there has got to be some bombshells in the book, and not in the TV series. The royal commentator thought that the royal family would not even break a sweat over the series. He added, a reality show is usually about jeopardy and drama. Where was the drama? On the leading film review website Rotten Tomatoes, the ratings were overwhelmingly negative, scoring just 40% approval from critics and 16% from audience members. Carol Midgley, from The Times, echoed Mr. Sean's point, writing, If I were Netflix, I'd want my money back. Because there was nothing bombshell or even very new here. It was beautifully shot but it was repetitive, wingy and boring. BBC's culture editor Katie Razal similarly commented, If you watched the trailers and thought Harry and Meghan, Netflix's heavily promoted new series, was going to be explosive, prepare to be disappointed. To put it kindly, this is slow burn television. Netflix has billed Harry and Meghan as an unprecedented and in-depth documentary series. But the program, unsurprisingly, was heavily one-sided and selective. The show is co-produced by the couple and is billed as telling the truth of being part of the royal family. However, it left many viewers unimpressed, with Francis Le Figaro labeling the show hollow and meaningless. The French newspaper wrote, We expected startling revelations. It is not so. After watching the first episode, we remain perplexed. Meghan and Harry complain that their story is slipping away from them, that the media is scrutinizing their every move. But on the other hand, they are just fueling the media hype. Nick Bullen, editor-in-chief of True Royalty TV, said the first three episodes were the most self-serving piece of television he had seen in a while.